Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Pimlico Racecourse here on Saturday. It is May the 21st, 2016. I'm going to look at race number 13, the Preakness Stakes. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections. The 13th race is the second leg of the Triple Crown. It's the Preakness. It's the 141st uh, running of the Preakness Stakes. Grade 1 purse, $1.5 million, sponsored by ExpressBet.com for three-year-olds. Um, we have 11 horses in this year's running. It's a very nice running, I have to say. Mile and three sixteenths ahead of them. Uh, second leg of the Triple Crown, like I said. And uh, you can really... Um, they're going to get buckets fulls of uh, rain at uh, Pimlico, so... You know, some horses, it's going to be a weird race, I think. Um, a lot of people say Nyquist should go away with this one and go over to Belmont, and, you know, we'll have another Triple Crown on the line. But with that being said, I don't think it's going to be that, you know, easy for him to win, because it's going to be a lot more speed in this race than there was in a Derby, because um, you have a lot of speed horses in this race. I'm going to go through all the horses, starting off with the one horse, Chariot Wine, 20 to 1, Corey Lannery. For Dale Romans, this is one of the horses that was an also eligible. You know, last time out in the bluegrass, that key in the mile on eighth on April the ninth. As the horse finished third by a one three quarter lengths that day. Closed up a little bit at the end, but you know, he, he just missed uh, he got uh, uh you know, he, he would have got second, but uh, my man Sam was closing like an express train to get second. Um then the Rebel Stakes at uh, Oakland. His horse finished fourth by uh, six and three quarter lengths. Again, you know, he had a lot of traffic, got up for fourth that day. To win today, he'll have to do a hell of a lot. He has you know, he has some runs on a wet course. Um he won probably is one of his best career races came uh, at Churchill, mile sixteenth on the slop in the main special way. He won by nine quarter lengths on a very wet course, and he just drew, drew away. You know, he'll have to do a hell of a lot. I think there are a few horses in this race that are, you know, uh, you know, have better class than him. You know, I'll use him maybe in, um, like, Super Fectas, uh, you know, something like that, but not, you know, not to win. He won't be able to pick four ticket for me or double ticket. Number two, Uncle Lino coming in from Southern California, 21, Fernando Perez for Gary, um, uh, Sherlock, uh, out of Uncle Mo, you know, this is a miler kind of horse, <laughs> Uncle Mo, Uncle Mo, tw uh, quality horses, so, um, you know, mile, to mile 16th, but, um, going a mile in, uh, three sixteenths today, you know, he was on the lead all throughout the California Chrome Stakes at Low Sal last time out, he won by half length, uh, it was a heavy favor in just his very game, start before that on the slop at San Anita in the San Anita Derby, this horse finished third by, uh, three, and, uh, by eight and a half lengths, by the winner exaggerated is coming back today, you know, he just didn't really have the best run. He was basically second behind a horse that was making incredibly fast fractions, uh, who was um, Danzig Candy, I believe. Uh, they went 45 and 1 to the half, uh, 110 to the 3 quarters, so it was just incredible amount of speed that day. Horse finished fourth in the San Felipe and second to Rob B. Lewis. We'll have to do a hell of a lot, I think, to win today. You know, like I said, maybe bottom of a super factor, but not not to win either. Number three, Nyquist, the uh, the Derby winner, three to five. Mary Gutierrez, Doug O'Neill out of Uncle Mo. You know, this horse. I, I still have little questions for this horse. He's going to have a lot of speed today. He had a very clean trip last time out um, in the Derby. One by one quarter lengths. Very second basically all throughout, and then got the lead. It was on a racetrack that wasn't favoring closers that day, and, um, you know, it, it was fast, but it was probably a wet kind of fast, because they did get, like, you have to remember, they did get that rain about a, about an hour before, before post time, um, you know, he, he won by one quarter lengths on a, you know, uh, you know, he has, he has questions for me, he's gonna, have, we're gonna have more speed today, and, um, you know, he's gonna get some challenges, I think, he's not gonna get one horse in front of him who's gonna be, last time I he only had one horse in front of him, he's gonna have a few horses, I, I could see, uh, you know, Uncle Lino has speed, he has speed in Nyquist if he wants to use it, um, the four horse, Austin Speed, it's in his name, and he has speed also. Um, you know, collected speed, Loban speed, abiding star speed. Uh, you know, Stradivari has speed. I think he might sit off the, off the pace, actually. Um, but I, I don't see, I, you know, I see this kind of race maybe leading towards a horse towards, you know, uh, towards a, a little bit of a closer, which I think could be exaggerated. But, you know, he, he won the Florida Derby by three and a quarter lengths. If you remember that race, he was a little, you know, in the stretch, he, he was all by himself. But, he, you know, something I didn't like, he was like... Uh, 
you know, he didn't concentrate. It looks like he he switched his leads a few times also, um, which, you know, that Florida Derby run still, you know, I didn't have him in the Derby, but, um, or in the Florida Derby also, I had Mohan in. But, you know, you know, you, you, you want to pick a favor who's 3-5 to five in this spot, and I think, you, you, and with the slop, you, you never know. Right? So, and I think with the speed, there might be closures coming on. Um, like I said, number f so yeah, he, he'll be a use on Superfecta tickets, maybe. Um, and probably, maybe I'll put him on a few pick four tickets, if you you never know. But, you know, I think there could be maybe a little bit of an upsetter here. Um, number four, Awesome Speed, 31, the winner of the uh, second place uh, finisher of the uh, tech Tessio, but actually got placed first due to the disqualification. We'll have to do a hell of a lot today to win. He's facing a lot tougher horses. He finished fourth in the uh, Fountain of Youth. He won the uh, the Mucho Macho Man, which is the prep for the Fountain of Youth. You know, he'll have to do a hell of a lot, or whatever that race is, the Holy Bowl. Um, you know, he'll have to do a hell of a lot to win today. He has a lot of speed also. Uh, wide wire, I don't think so. On a wet course, he's fa he's going to be, uh, he's run once at a wet course um, last time out, and he finished second. It was just weakening a little bit that day. You know, we'll have to do a lot. Third and one, you know, well-deserved odds at third and one. Number five, Exaggerator. At three to one, Kent Desormo for Keith uh, Desormo, who trains this one out of Curlin, a hundred ten thousand dollar purchase of the Keeneland 2014 sale. It's going to be my top selection here. He, you know, he should really do well with this, the, the speed in this race. He should really close a, a very well. He, he's done well over a wet course. Last time out in the Derby, he finished second by one and a quarter lengths. He closed very well on a track that wasn't playing towards. Um, speed uh, towards closers that day. He finished second. He, he, um, he had a very good move, also. Um, and then the Sandy Derby, another race where he had an incredible move, probably his best run of his career in Sandy Derby. His horse won by six quarter lengths over the slot, was basically 16 lengths off the lead early. They ran very fast, you have to remember, also 45 for the half, 110 for three quarters. You know, he, he at the quarter at the 3 16th full, made that sweeping move, really ran really well. Um, finished third in San Felipe and second in San F uh, Vicente. You know, he won the Delta Jackpot as two year I think this horse could really be an upsetter. Three to one. Gonna take my shot with him. Um, definite use on a pick four ticket. I usually make two pick four tickets. I usually make one where I go all out on, and then I'll make a cheap one for like, if it's 50 cents, the minimum, I'll make like a three dollar ticket and use top selections. You know, he'll be on that, he'll be a single on that ticket where I use top selections, you know. But he'll, he'll be on both all my tickets. He should, he's a very good horse. Going to use him in Superfecta as, as the lead horse. Really like his chances here today. You know, we might see a very good run from him today. Um, number six, Lonnie. 30 to 1, the Japanese invader, <laughs> Yutaka take. Um, this three year old cult out of Tappet. Um, you know. With all the, you know, every Derby week, he, they were all saying, oh, the source is going to be finishing 20th. You know, he, he didn't, he wasn't training good. He didn't want to train. Ground reminds me of an Al Shiva kind of horse. Or not Al Shiva, um, the other Chris McCarran horse, uh, Tis Now. Or Tis Now does not want to, you know, or doesn't want to train before the Breeders' Cup Classic. Um, you know, he finished ninth by 10 and 3 quarter lengths that day. You know, was closing a little bit. This horse doesn't break also. He, he, and horses in, you know, outside of America, they don't get. They don't, uh, they don't get really taught how to break, because it's more towards, uh, you just sit and wait, and then the last two frongs, you just go all out. In America, it's very different, uh, because you really make speed, 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 and speed all throughout the race. But he finished ninth in the Derby. He was slow, it was wide, but he had a decent ninth place finish. I think 30 to 1, I, I, when I saw the morning line odds, I was, like, shocked that he thought it was 30 to 1. I would, you know, I would put him out, like, at least 20, if not, like, 20. 15 to 1, you know, and then in um, Dubai in the May, made on, at uh, made on in the uh, UA Derby, this horse won by three quarters length with a very good move that day on another track that wasn't really facing, uh, you know, that wasn't really taking deep closes, and he closed very well, him and Polar River was a very good horse also, um, and then running in Japan on the mud, he finished fifth in the uh, Hashin Stakes, uh, Hashini Stakes, uh, stakes, um, and then he won a stakes race at Tokyo, race course as a two-year-old. You know, he's, he's on a wet course, this horse is three and one, one win, in one second. He's made $116,000 on a turf, on a, on a wet course. You know, he's going to be a, a definite use for me, maybe in a pick, he might be, I might go three horses deep in the pick four, maybe I'll use four horses, um, but he'll be a definite use on some tickets. He's a 
31, you can't knock this horse here in this spot. Um, he might be a little nervous before the start of the race, you know, because he, he's a very quirky horse. But, you know, I, I think this horse should really run uh, run a very good race, I think. Um, number 7, collected 10-1, to 1, Javier Castellano for Bob Baffert out of City Zip. When I see City Zip, I think of, of a sprinter. You know, this horse has a lot of speed. He won the Lexington last time out by four lengths. Those mile 16th races tend to be more towards speed horses with that first finish line. And, you know, he ran really well and drew off clear. Very easy victory. Um, and then the, uh, at Sunland and that Sunland Derby or the Sunland Festival Racing Stakes, whatever you want to call it. This horse uh, finished uh, one by two lengths on the lead all throughout. Really drove the best that day, and then they ran this horse in the Rebel, he finished, uh, or the Southwest, he finished fourth, you know, I don't think he could do the distance, he'll be a speed horse, maybe for fourth, at the best, he'll third or fourth, if he wins, I'll be shocked, um, to see him win, number eight, Lobom, another speed horse, Florent Jaru, third to one, Eric Ouya, um, getting blinkers off today for the first time since, uh, he's been, he's been on blinkers ever since his second start of his career, gets him off today, you know, he's, the source is a maiden, so remember that, last time out at, uh, Keelan, a mile in the eighth in the bluegrass, this horse finished fourth by, uh, fourth or quarter lengths, this horse kind of reminds me of Moreno kind of horse, for some reason, you know, he has a lot of speed, you know, but he, he just finished fourth that day after setting the pace in the bluegrass, it wasn't his best run, and the Gotham just horse from second on a speed favoring race, racetrack that day, finished second by one quarter lengths at Aqueduct, you know, again, he was just tiring, and then he finished third, second, and seventh in races, finished third in the Sham, second, and the main special weight Los Al and seventh, you know, if he goes wire to wire, I'll, I'll be shocked, um, you know, he's not the, uh, he's not a use for a win place, uh, you know, a win, uh, selection, not on any of my tickets as a super factor, he's just, you know, I think he's gonna weaken after setting a pace, number seven, nine, abiding star, another horse I don't have on any tickets, super factor, nothing, um, with J.D. Acosta, a local horse, you know, or a Pennsylvania horse, uh, but, you know, local regional horse, um, the last time out at Parks, two weeks ago, May the 7th, and the Park Star, but this horse won by one through quarter lengths, another speed horse, he won easily on the lead, he's won of his last five, all those races have been on the lead, he's going to face better horses today, he'll have to do a hell of a lot to win, not a use, like I said, number 10, Fellowship 31, Jose Lascano from Marcasse, of Marcasse, um, you know, last time out at uh, Churchill two weeks ago in the Pat Day Mile Derby Trial, as I like to call it. This horse finished fourth by five lengths that day. Got to second close on, closer to the stretch and then weakened very badly. Uh, then the Florida Derby around two turns, mile eight. This horse finished third by four and a quarter lengths. Was closing a little bit, but wasn't catching Nyquist that day. It was a, you know, it wasn't his best run. And the fountain used this horse finished third. You know, he, he has, he, this horse is a wise guy horse. He can maybe rate a little bit, maybe, you know, sit in that second batch. With that being said, he, he'll have to do a hell of a lot. I think this horse, this horse is a Florida bred. He'll have to, you know, if he, he'll do good in those Florida races, you know, those Florida, um, you know, stakes races, like the, the Stallion series. But he'll have to do a hell of a lot to win here. Uh, not a use for me. Number 11, uh, Strad Stradivari. Um, 8 to 1, John Velasquez uh, for Todd Pletcher out of Medalli de Oro. You know, he's making his third start today. First time against Stakes Company. That's a big, uh, that's a big jump up facing Stakes Company in the Preakness. Um, last time out of Keelan, a mile in the 8th and the 8th, for the 17th in the Lounge Race, 59,000. Source won by 14 and one half lengths. The first start since December, this horse just ran a hell of a race. He was just driving that day. December the 5th, off turf race, mile 16th at uh, Gulfstream. Um, this horse uh, from the 9 hole, I remember this race so clear. Like, I believe this horse was a post position number 15 originally. Went down to the 9 hole. It's the first race of the meet. This horse won by 11 and a quarter lengths. A very easy victory. Very, you know, it, it was a great run for this horse. And then he finished fourth in main special weight, going seven eighths of a mile. You know, I, I like this horse here. He's stepping up in a lot of class. You know, I think this horse, gonna, this horse is going to have a great future. Now, if that great future starts tomorrow, we'll see. You know, he's a wise guy horse. Maybe I'll use him on the pick four also. If he, you know, if he gets, a, if he sets the pace, I'll be surprised too. I would see that maybe this horse can maybe rate a little bit. You know, sit fourth, maybe third, fourth. Second, uh, th third, fourth, uh, fifth, something like that. Um, you know, but um, you know, I, I really like this horse here a lot. He's he's going to be a great horse in the future. Just like I said, just will that future start tomorrow of being a good horse or like a champion kind of horse? You know, each one John Velasquez going to use him also. So um, here are my selections. I'm going to do a 
I'm going to do a super fact key. I'm going to key in on uh, Exaggerator, the five horses, a top selection. I'm going to put that horse on top. I'm going to go for a 10 cent uh, uh, super fact key. I'm going to go five with the one, three, six, eleven. Five with the one, three, six, eleven. For a 10 cent super key, it's going to cost you $2.40. Pick four sequence. I would probably use. Let's see, I would probably go use. I would use Nyquist for sure. I would use Exaggerator of Lonnie, and I would use. I would go four deep basically. I wouldn't use, um, uh, you know, Cherry Wine. Uh, you, you know, he'll come up for a four, third or fourth place finish. I don't think he's good enough to win, but I would use Stradivari. I would use Lonnie. I would use Exaggerator, and I would use. Uh, Nyquist, so I would use, like I said, I would use 3, 5, 6, 11, 3, 5, 6, 11 to the pick 4. Maybe I'll do a Black Eyed Susan uh, 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 double since it is, uh, it's early Friday morning, at 1 a.m. Friday morning. So, uh, you know, I'm going to maybe do my uh, selections in the Black Eyed Susan. I have the four horses top selection. Um, so maybe I'll just do a, you know, a weird maybe a, a, a double four with the um, go four horses deep in this race, but, you know, it, it's a, it's not a one-horse race, I think, I think you're going to have a, uh, uh, you know, some other horses maybe coming in for uh, a good shot here, so, uh, like, to recap the bets, race number 13 from Pimlico Racecourse, it's the 141st running of the Preakness, spa uh, Preakness Stakes, sponsored by ExpressBet.com, going to go with the five-horse exaggerator, going to do Super Effect to keep 10 cents, going to go... Five with the one three six eleven for ten cents. It's gonna cost you two dollars and forty cents. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.